Well, unfortunately, it appears that cruising is about to get way more expensive than it's been over the past couple years. I'm bringing the receipts with me, Norwegian Cruise Line and Princess, I'm looking at you. Plus MSC, they've got a brand new ship to show off and she just made it to New York City. Let's roll the intro. Hey, hey, welcome to the Midships channel. I'm your Captain Corey. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Welcome to a very gloomy, very icky and misty, chilly central Ohio Midships studio. I'm here spinning that sweet, sweet cruise news. We're gonna be talking about a ship that I'm boarding this Sunday. That's the MSC Seascape. Yeah, why don't we just rip that Band-Aid off first thing. You are here for the cruise news. After all, MSC's newest ship here stateside just arrived in New York City the other day. And today, December 7th, is the day set for her christening ceremony. Now, MSC claimed they invited me to this, but I never saw the invite. I reached out to a couple folks there. It never came. I was planning on being there in New York City, bringing you some behind the scenes look, but fear not. I will be boarding the Seascape on December 11th for her inaugural sailing out of Miami, Florida. Now, MSC Seascape is just another evolution of the Seaside Evo class of ships. They do have some new things, a new thrill ride called the Robotron. Yeah, we're gonna be trying the Robotron out here in the next few days. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you don't wanna miss a sneak peek of MSC's newest ship, on her inaugural sailing out of the United States. Cruisers on board Royal Caribbean's Quantum of the Seas have been a little bit surprised lately at the lack of housekeeping service in their cabins on board that ship. It appears that Royal Caribbean is testing out a new model that Carnival's been using for about six months now, and that is only one cleaning service per cabin per day, at least for regular rooms. The highest end suites will continue to get their two a day housekeeping service touch from their cabin stewards. But as of now, at least on Quantum of the Seas, Royal Caribbean is cutting the daily housekeeping services in half. So when you get on board, you're gonna have to meet with your cabin steward and decide, do I want a morning service or do I want an afternoon evening kind of turn down style service? So if you're planning a cruise with Royal Caribbean, at least for now aboard Quantum of the Seas, and most likely throughout the rest of the fleet, if I had to guess, you need to expect that you may be met with only one cabin steward touch in your room per day. Now, this is only a pilot program and it is not rolling out fleet-wide officially just yet. Royal Caribbean say this is a green measure to help them be nicer to the planet, as well as to align themselves better with the global trend in hospitality. And what they mean, like I said, is they're trying to cut cost and align more with what Carnival's getting away with, which is doing half the cabin cleanings per day and still charging you the same amount. And yes, Royal Caribbean will still be charging you the full gratuity amount and the full cruise fare, despite the fact they're washing fewer towels and their crew members are spending less time in your cabins. So let me know your thoughts on this in the description below. Is it fair for us cruisers to pay the same amount and receive half of the service? Norwegian Cruise Line is setting themselves up to be one of the most, if not the most expensive, mainline cruise experience sailing out of the US, as they have once again increased their daily gratuities on board their ships. And this time it's not by one to three dollars. No, it's by five dollars per person per day. For any reservation starting on or after January 1st of 2023, the daily gratuity rate is going to start at 20 bucks per person per day. Now that is for your standard cabin all the way up to your club balcony suite level. Now go a step further than that up to the Haven, you're going to be spending $25 per person per day moving forward with Norwegian Cruise Line. And this is not the first increase we've seen from Norwegian just this year. But last time, like I said, it was only a buck or two for the most part. This one, it's gonna sting a bit. Imagine you're a family of four and you're paying now $20 per person per day for your seven night Caribbean cruise. Yeah, that's gonna add up pretty darn quickly. But you know what doesn't add up pretty darn quickly? 
items purchased from my Amazon affiliate store. It's the best place to support this channel while getting amazing cruise products for your next cruise. Things that I personally have tested and use every time I cruise. Plus, you can pick up some amazing custom-made cruise shirts. Check it out. There's a link in the description down below. Now, Norwegian is not the only cruise line causing a buzz as prices continue to increase across the board. No, Princess Cruise Line is also setting the bar a lot higher on their daily gratuities as well as their internet. It is going sky high on Princess Cruise Line. So let's go over the gratuity changes moving forward on Princess Cruise Line, and then we'll get into the internet. Now this is for any sailing on or after February 20th of 2023. Interior, ocean view, and balcony cabins. Well, the new daily rate for gratuity is gonna be 16 bucks per person. It's currently at 1450. Moving up to the mini suites and the club class, you're gonna be paying 17 a day. And up into suites, the fancy folks, you're gonna be paying $18 per person per day. So on average, Princess is bringing the cost up about two bucks per person per day. So not as dramatic as what we're seeing from Norwegian, who's brought it up about seven to $10 over the course of the last year, which is absolutely nuts if you ask me. And like I mentioned earlier, Princess is not just raising the price on gratuities, it's also their medallion internet. They've got a fantastic internet service on board their ships. It's highly praised. A lot of people really like it. Experienced cruisers really love Princess internet. And it's so affordable. It's 10 bucks per device per day currently. But starting next year, again, February 20th, that per device price goes up to $15, 15 bucks a day for Medallion Net on board Princess Cruise Line. And they're also offering a deal if you get more devices. Say for instance, if you get the four device plan, it's gonna cost you $40 a day. So that is a good way to still go ahead and get today's price by getting more devices. Now on a seven night cruise, that's gonna be almost $300 for internet, which means there's gonna be a lot more complaints from people saying, uh, my internet is not working the way it's supposed to be. For 10 bucks, I'm not gonna go wait in a big line and complain. But for 40 bucks per day, yeah, even I'm gonna be down there complaining about bad internet. Who am I kidding? I complained about bad internet on almost every ship I've been on. I like to test out these cruise lines and see how the customer service is. So far, celebrities done it the best. All right, so for our next cruise news, oh, you're back there. Okay, for our next cruise news story, there's a guy, his name's Captain Corey, and he's hosting a cruise on board Carnival's newest ship, The Celebration. It's called the Midships Miami Night Group Cruise, and well, you're invited to join me for six nights on Carnival's newest ship. Like I said, it's the Carnival Celebration. This is a Miami-themed cruise, so we're calling it Midships Miami Nights. If you'd like to get more info on how you can join me for this six-night cruise down to Cozumel, Costa Maya, and Mahogany Bay, well, check out the link in the description below. It's the second link down. There's a Facebook group. My travel agent has it all set up. You can get more info. If you made it this far into today's episode, well, why aren't you a subscriber yet? If you love cruising and you love cruise news, well, this is the place to find all of that. While you're down there subscribing, be sure the thumbs up button is pressed. As always, thanks for stopping by the channel today. And until tomorrow, we'll see ya on the midships. I recorded almost this whole episode before I realized it's over here. Before I realized my backdrop TV wasn't on. Yeah, you could say I'm the forgetful type here or there. Hey, it's such a misty, kind of dreary day here in Columbus, but that's okay because I've got joy in my heart because I'm hopping on a cruise in like three days. If you want to know the best way to keep up with my cruising schedule, you should download the Shipmate app and check me out on there. It's just midships. Like always, we'll see y'all tomorrow.